website. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. Yeah, baby. Uh, <laughs> why that? Why that, Jesse? Oh, I don't. I don't know. Now nah, we're live on air, and you just did a full uh, triceratops or a pterodactyl. Uh-huh. Yeah, pterodactyl. Yeah, there it is. yeah. I'm just there calling all nooners, right? <laughs> Kaka. That's yeah. your. I'd go with the first one. Kaka's been 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 used. What was the? I can't remember things. Uh. There you go. Okay. Yeah, something like that. Ah. There it is. There it is. And now shapes. we stop. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And now we stop doing that. <laughs> for people's ears. Uh, for people's uh, ears, hearts, and minds. And you're souls. Stop doing it. Just stop doing it for now, but you're going to be doing it tonight at the game. I am. <laughs> I will be sporting tonight. Yeah. The only way that I like to. In a suite. <laughs> In a sweets. Good for you, Javes. Good for you. No, I will say, <laughs> is it weird to say that one time I do want to go to that section where they tape up the seats and just get loose? I mean. Uh, yeah. Look, if you haven't been to Austin FC, um, they tape up the seats and they make you stand in one section behind the goal and people go. Bah, bah. They just look like they're having all the fun. Over there. In reality, I'm not sure. They might be quite uncomfortable and they're getting beer thrown on them and everything, but the way that it looks yeah. is so fun. I don't even know if they serve alcohol in that section, but. No, I wouldn't. You guys are having a girls' night out. Oh, yeah. In the suite tonight at the soccer game. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, looking forward to that, Jabes, for you. Oh, are you? Yeah, yeah. You know? I'm looking forward to all the passive aggressive comments you're gonna make about <laughs> Oh, have fun. Mom's leaving to drink, kids. Yeah. Look at mom. Just take it easy tonight, okay? Maybe one tall boy of Dosakis kinda nurse that through and uh it's a long drive home. Gotcha. Long drive home on the highway. Gotcha, dad. Jabes, uh, gotcha, dad. Uh big day today. What's up? Just monsters, deals after deals after deals after deals. Never seen anything like it. Uh, it's, it's, it's an arms race, streaming, podcasts, and otherwise. Uh, Shonda Rhimes, $400 million. Four? Oh. Just producing shows at Netflix. That's it. Oh. So that was her, okay. her deal for 140 already ended. I guess she's already been there for four years. I didn't know that. So now she just re-upped for another four hundred million. Oh. What did she produce that was like a big Glad you asked because I I worth doing. I I thought the same thing. Sure. Um it it may be things that you don't even realize. Bridgerton. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, there you go. All you need is one hit and you're good. She's got Grey's Anatomy. (laughs) She's got Bridgerton. (laughs) See you later. I mean, how to wait how to get away with murder and stuff, but I think well, that's still on ABC. No, I know. So I'm like, just saying, like, yeah. I'm saying for yeah, Netflix yeah, yeah, yeah. specifically. Yeah. Okay, I did not know. Yeah, Bridgerton because I didn't uh, dive deep into that. Sure, 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 sure. Full of sure. nonsense, but um, I, okay, that look, makes sense. I can't. You know, I can't get into it. We talked about it on this no, show. No, you can't. I can't get into the make 'em ups of history. Um, of like, oh yeah, there was black royalty and all that other shit back then. It's not real. Bridgerton's not a real. I, I understand. Okay. That, okay. But I can't get into make em ups like we said. Okay. We watched that uh, England game, or somebody did. Uh, we watched the first half of it, um, and then all the racial slurs afterwards, and the royal family had to make a statement. So let's not pretend that England started liking black people again. Okay. Mm-hmm. We're not doing it. Mm-hmm. Not doing it. Even on Sunday, they were like, no. Nah. Still good. Still good on that. That's uh, not going to, not going to, no. Nah. Right. The, the royal family issued a statement. English football club issued a statement. Like, all good on that, right? So mm-hmm. the make em ups with Bridgerton, nah. Can't get past it mentally. Right. You know? Right, right, that right. Our country is going to be accepting of that. Uh, same thing with America. We watched the Netflix movie last night, America. 
Yeah. Did you guys watch that, by the way? You guys are history, softcore history. Oh, uh, the cartoon? Yeah. yeah. I haven't watched that yet. Not so. good. Um, it seemed. Yeah. I mean, there were some parts that were good, but I you just can't... couldn't figure out what they were trying to do. Or to where me. they were. So, like, the, the ratings were low on it. The trailer was really fucking funny. Um, but when you mix elements of history, same with Bridgerton. This is what I have the problem with, right? And this is all white people, so can't call me racist today. Uh-huh. Maybe some other well, days. Well, well, let's day's I not mean, over. We can, day's not over, yeah. Day's not over. Well, the statement's not over yet. <laughs> well. Because <laughs> many times you say, I'm not racist. <laughs> Hammer the like button if you're watching on YouTube. No, um, with this, they put like uh, George Washington and Abraham Lincoln together. Uh, they were partying, drinking beers and shit out of cans, talking about listening to Kid Rock. I couldn't figure out what time period they were in and why. I, it, it, I just... You got lost after like 15 minutes. Well, yeah. There was a fraternity? Yes. It, so they were basically uh, making the founding fathers seem like this frat, you know, just like Which dumb dudes that are, that are like all jacked and yeah. putting them all together in a time period that Ross was not okay with. Even though it was animated, you still couldn't. Get on board. I, I, I could not get into it. When okay. Sam Adams was like, yeah, we're just all drinking fucking beer and listening to Kid Rock. I was like, "Right, all right, but that's 300 years apart. So it was like George Washington and Abe Lincoln were besties. Yeah, and I told and you, Abe I go, look, dies. that's 16 presidents apart. Right. I, how are they friends? You know. I think and, if and we then, watched a little bit more, we could have like maybe put the pieces together. But uh, and I, Look, and then Channing Tatum. I, can sure. we just stop trying to pretend he's a comedian? I'm on board with that because. <sighs> God damn it, man. Right. It's just so much. Yeah. It's just too much. Where mm -hmm. it's like, yes, you were in the 21 Drum Street movie, right? Well, I liken it to like a Chrissy Teigen where people are like, wait, you're hot and you can kind of be a little bit funny. Yeah. The, that equals to most people hilarious, mm -hmm. right? If you're super hot and a little bit funny, you're the funniest person in the world. Yeah. So I think it's the same sort of thing that's happening with Channing where they're like, oh, wow, I laughed at a couple of things you said. You <laughs> are, because they're just looking at him. Yeah. But again. Well, this was animated, so you can't look at him. You just got to hear his voice. And he, he acting wise, he's not even good enough for a cartoon. Uh, Bob, will you exactly. mind shutting that door real quick? Um, it's one of those things where they just keep trying to jam him into shit. Mm -hmm. And you're like, I am all good on that. Mm -hmm. I don't believe any of this right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. And even in a cartoon, sure. I don't believe you. Okay. Now the dance movie is fine. You want to step up to the streets. Right. Great. You want to show. Down, throw down some cardboard. Do some break dance moves. Great. Right. And get behind that. You're a dancer. Right. It's fine. Right. Magic Mike. Perfect. You're a dancer. Congratulations. I can get into that. Perfect. Right. Comedian, no, no, I'm not gonna do that with Jim yeah. Tatum. Not yeah, that's a bridge him. too far. Way too far. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Bridgerton too far. It's Nailed a Bridgerton it. too far, yeah. Nailed it. Uh, the other deal that came out yesterday, now this one I'm amped about, uh, Jon Stewart. Jon Stewart is gonna be hosting his own one hour show weekly on Apple. Now we've bitched about Apple in the past, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, I couldn't get into most of their original programming. I like some of their docs. It's great. This will pull me in. I'm good. So right. it's, it seems to be a old school format. It, it, like the way it read, it appeared to be a, uh, man, how would I word this? Remember what Bill Maher used to be on ABC? With like a round table? Yeah, and it was one topic, right? So you would do this one topic okay. for an hour. Okay. Uh, that's what it's going to be. And I'm in for that. I still think he's one of the brightest and, and best there is. Absolutely. So, and I think when you're not doing the day-to-day -day grind of a show every single day, I think it's fine. And I think that allows you to do uh, uh, a more educated, well-thought-out show and not burn out easily. So right. Right. that's where I'm at with that. Um, Giorgio, can you shut that door for me? Thanks, buddy. One more person opens that door. I'm going to kill him today. I'm going to kill him today. He's Either going way. back uh, and forth. Uh, yeah. Um, but uh, that one I'm in for, and I will tune in, and I'm, uh, like, I'm amped for that. I think now is a good time for him. He was usually able to split it 
kind of even. Trump is not in there anymore, so like, it'll be. I'll be curious to see how hard he goes after Biden. Yeah. Uh, but I'm in for John Stewart. I think that's a great move. I don't know how much money they paid him to get him to do that. Oh, that wasn't disclosed. No. Okay. That number was not disclosed, but I know this. He did have an original deal with HBO. It expired after a certain number of years, and then Apple came in and bought this. So congratulations, Apple. I'll finally watch this Apple TV bullshit. Right. Um, You're going to be happy that I got that app. Probably not. Yeah, I mean, no, you will, though. No, no, probably not. No, because you're going to be like, oh, well, we better get the Apple thing. I'm like, no problemo. Already got it, right? <laughs> and that's true of any streaming app. Because once the show actually comes on, oh, we should get that. No problem. No. Got no, it. No, no. No, no worries. Yeah, got it. Yeah. yeah. Um, Magnolia Network is about to launch on Discovery+. Plus. No. Oh, already got it. Hey, no problemo. Did you really? I did already have it. Okay. I paid. I didn't pay okay. for no commercials. So, well, like, that's where I need to go next with all these apps. But, yeah. Well, maybe. Because um, it, it, things are starting to happen. When I said all these deals are happening, uh, things are starting to fall into place exactly like I've said for the last year now, two years, where when these companies keep buying up each other, you're essentially creating your own cable network like you're you're creating like a dish tv or a direct tv or something mm -hmm. like that like <clears throat> makes zero fucking sense um the latest one is uh they are bundling together hulu espn plus and shit one more disney plus, disney plus yes okay for 14.99 and you can get it without commercials so you might want to switch over to that Got it. Okay. So you can get all of the things. And I think that's going to be the packages of the future mm -hmm. of even Discovery Plus. Because Discovery Plus is joining with HBO. Okay. Uh, Warner Brothers. So it's going to be called Warner Brothers Discovery, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, dead serious. Uh, it's the dumbest So there's just going to be three apps. Mm -hmm. I'm fine with it. We'll be down to three apps in the future. And then we'll be down to three podcast apps in the future. And that's going to be what our future is. And it's going to be told by whoever wants us to tell, you know things to people so that's great right uh so look out for that mm -hmm. because the rest of the narrative is is over japes it's over yeah uh the uh it case in point the emmys just got released the uh nominations today oh do tell <laughs> top story uh rodriguez is the first trans nominated in lead acting category now was laverne cox not trans, or was that a supporting actor category? Uh, I'm going to assume that question is rhetorical. You're going to what? No, no, no. She was supporting. Oh, supporting. she was supporting. Yeah, okay. she, wasn't a, she was never a lead in Orange is the New Black. Oh, no, no. Oh, yeah, they were all supporting. Yeah, but it, it depends. I mean, maybe it's one lead, but yeah. Yeah, but it depends on how you're pitched by the producers. Yeah. So in all the Oscars, the categories were... All of those leads were supporting, and then the leads were not because they didn't want to lose to Chadwick Boseman, and then they didn't up, ended up giving it to him and all that stuff. So right. I, they, they switch all these categories around. Why, why is this the top story? Why is this a big deal? Laverne Cox, Cox has won how many? Right. Supporting. So, so what? Yeah. Is that not good enough? Like, are we, we're still caring about leads and supporting and everything else? Like, that is determined by the producers. Right. So I... I what the fuck, dude? What show is it? That, that Great. Can anyone name it without even looking it up? I'm glad you asked. That Rod Re what is it? Yeah. Rodriguez? Yeah. Is from? Anyone name it? Is it Pose? There it is. The Pose? Pose, yeah. Okay. Guess what's not on the air anymore? Pose. Yeah. Yeah, not there anymore. Yeah. I don't know one single person who watched that show. Right. We're just doing it just to do it at this point. Right. That's it. Um, look, if this is, fuck, is it a, what are you, a lead actress? Okay. <laughs> lead actress in a drama series. Is. That's, that's, that's what uh, MJ Rodriguez is nominated for. Okay. Yep. So just taking a spot away from women, which is awesome. I know you love that. And, uh, and I do too. Um, that. I, there's there's a there is a million million people who could have gotten that thing but we're not doing that anymore right this you've got to have trans you've got to have 
everything. I, like sitting in that room for the Emmys now has got to be like, all right, let's put all the races of people out there. Let's put trans out. We've got to check all the boxes or we're fucked. Right. Uh, <laughs> and, and I think that's, that's where we're at. Because this, again, you're I, 11 nominations for this, uh, this show. Not even on the air. Pose. Yeah. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Isn't yep, that yep. Billy Porter? Yeah, Billy Porter, yeah. I love him. Yeah. I like him as a person. Yeah, he's great. I just don't. That That's a show that I don't give a fuck about or nobody else did either obviously because it's canceled but it's right um, yeah right him is he's more of a personality than anything yeah so singer dancer personality yeah 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 i just know him for being billy porter yeah and just like being awesome yeah that's yeah. it i don't even know him as an actor to be honest with you right. i know he was on broadway for years and years and years mm -hmm. doing shit but like i'm not musicals aren't my jam maybe bob is into billy porter we love not him. really yeah no I'm, I'm not one way or the other. I haven't really, just haven't even really bothered to to look into it. I yeah. mean, if he uh, if he ends up being in some musical I like, it sure, <laughs> right? Like I don't. I'm trying to think of the even. list is long of <laughs> Bob's favorite musicals. So, oh boy, I love yeah. that about you, Bob. Um, yeah, this. I yeah, mean, so I, you so, know, so going through it here, best uh, actress in a comedy. Uh, <clears throat> A.D. Bryant's Kelly Kuakao. Okay. Oh, yeah. Nice. Gene Smart uh, yes. from Hacks. Uh, yes. Allison Janney. Uh, Tracy Ellis Ross for Blackish. That's all fine. Uh, best actor in a comedy. Uh, Michael Douglas for The Kaminsky Method. Why are we still doing that? Who's still watching? doing what? Who's, do who's watching A lot that? of people are watching that, actually. On, yeah. It's always like in top 10. Uh, Sudeikis is back for Ted Lasso. Look, I watch Ted Lasso on the plane only when my um, <laughs> Wi-Fi isn't working. And I like it. Okay. I like him in there. All right. All I right. think he's very lovable. And uh, although it's pretty unbelievable, the whole story, yeah. I like it. Yeah. I like um, it. There is no comedies anymore, obviously. So they, they, they've stopped really? making comedies. There's uh, no Mythic Quest nomination? No. Oh. Uh, and, and I'm glad you brought that up. All right, so just Sheriff going through the comedies. Song. When I said there's no comedies anymore, there's not. So in the Best Supporting Actress in a Comedy, three from SNL, two from Ted Lasso, and uh, Rosie Perez from The Flight Attendant, which isn't a comedy. Hmm. Uh, is it comedy or music? What oh, this is the best. You ready for this one? Yeah. Ready. Best Supporting Actor in a Comedy? Two from SNL. Bowen Yang was one of them. Of course. Right. So Rob McElhenney's never going to get nominated. No. Oh. And he is the best. Dang, he the is the best. fucking best. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. He's the best. His wife is the fucking best, dude. She's the best. Fucking hilarious. Uh, Ted Lasso is taking up four other nominations here in this category. So, okay. Um, no, but I mean the same category. Mm. Oh. Four supporting actors in this. And then uh, Paul Reiser from The Kaminsky Method. Comedy's dead, people. I do love a rise. Comedy <laughs> is fucking dead. If you want to laugh, go push your kid down in the yard. Okay? Watch him struggle to get up. Two years old. It's the only laugh you're going to get in this world anymore. Comedy is fucking dead. It's absolutely dead. Um, best comedy. You ready for this? Blackish. Cobra Kai. Okay. Emily in Paris. Oof, Hacks? that's a rough one. Why'd they put that one in there? <sighs> Cobra Kai, what, what's, what's funny about Cobra Kai? That is I a, think there's some comedy in there. No, there is not any comedy in there. In the show? No, I watched it with, with uh, my son, okay? There's no comedy in there. It is, it is life lessons about taking care of bullies, picking yourself up by your bootstraps, okay. and opening up your own fucking dojo in a strip mall. Okay. There's nothing hilarious about that. They almost closed the fucking dojo, Jesse. They don't make it like kitschy or nope. okay. They have closed. They 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 have threatened numerous times to close the fucking dojo. There's nothing funny about a man losing his business. Sure. Okay. Okay. Pen Are fifteen. You? Flight attendant. We watched flight attendant. What was hilarious about that? She was running away from a murder. There was a little bit of dark comedy in there. Yeah. You, you know what's actually an egregious. Uh, omission in my opinion mm -hmm. um, and it checks a lot of comedy boxes it's not 
like hard straight comedy like a 30 rock or what whatever you know where it's like joke 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 yeah but um i don't know why this would be missed out on mindy kaling's show on netflix never have i ever um that she wrote it? that she wrote and produced she's not okay. in it um. never have i ever um, it's about a little Indian girl, like yeah. an Indian high school girl who's like yeah. awkward and then like tries to fuck the hot guy. I kind of love anything that she does, so I'm sure it's actually it's, hilarious. It's great. And the best part is randomly for no reason other than it's like a minor plot point narrated by John McEnroe. <laughs> See, like that's the kind of shit that she'll do that you're like, oh shit. Yeah. Like, um, but we're, we're Rob McElhaney. But by the way, we yeah. haven't gotten to the Indian oppression yet, though. So she would not. Oh, right. we're, we're I was going to say it checked every box. I know. No, I know. We're getting close. We're getting close here. I don't even know if her show was ever nominated. The Mindy. What was it? Mindy Project. I, mean, I don't think so. I, and that show was great, too. So great. I binged it. And then I watched the whole thing again when I'm feeling sad or whatever. Sure. So good. Yeah. So there is comedies out there. Always Sunny. <sighs> Yeah, I, I mean, look, it's buried. I don't. They don't even do any press for it anymore. And uh, I know, but they're making them, it. Never been nominated. They're making they're another season right now. Oh, they're making like two more, um, oh, yeah. and they sent them all to the fight for press. That's the most press they've gotten. And the network probably didn't even pay for those tickets. You no, I think it. they just wanted to go. <laughs> yeah, and they're the epitome of like they've been. You know, they shot the first pilot for Always Sunny on like a little yeah, camcorder they yeah. got from Best Buy. They're the epitome of like, keep your head down and just keep making shit. Don't talk shit about yeah. getting nominated ever. Like, don't worry about the fucking awards. Just make stuff that you want to make. Yeah. They right? made an entire episode uh, that made fun of the Emmys. It was like the best bar in town and they were trying to win an award and they had to do all these like different things to right? win the bar award. And it was just them making fun of the Emmys. Great. And so if you want to get an Emmy, you can't do that. No. So maybe they're just like, let's just not get an Emmy. So that we can keep doing all the shit we want to do, which is like under the radar, slightly like yeah. real off color, right? Yeah. Um, I'm trying to. Yeah. Best actress in a drama here, mm. Jabe's uh, Emma Corrin, The Crown. Okay. Uz Uza Aduba for In Treatments, uh, Olivia Colman, okay. The Crown, Elizabeth Moss, Handmaid's Tale, MJ Rodriguez, Pose. Okay. Um, and uh, Journey Smollett. So that must be uh, Jesse Smollett's sister. Maybe. Yeah. I, it is. There okay. Is, yeah. Okay. There is no and what is way. she in? What was she in? Lovecraft Country. Heard that was really good. I got burnt out after like an episode or two. Okay. It was kind of just weird, and it kept resetting the story. I think well, people were more excited about it than actually delivered yeah. with. The, okay. The first episode was actually pretty fun, and then okay. I don't know. I just like I couldn't get hooked on it, and it had a great cast. Uh, Courtney B. Vance, love Courtney B. Vance. Oh, dude. Um, but yeah, it was just it just couldn't couldn't. So stick I'm with wondering it. who, like you're saying, MJ's taking a spot from someone. Sure. I can't even think of who she would be taking the spot from, right? Uh, there's a million people. Um, I guess would Ozark? No, they didn't uh, yeah. do a season, right? Ozark didn't even get nominated. Uh, you Did know. they even have a season in the running? Because they they actually it's not over. skip. They're they're filming yeah. now, but yeah, yeah they skip. Yeah. COVID. So okay, they gotcha. weren't. They didn't do it. Gotcha, but like, gotcha, gotcha. honestly, fucking what's her name is taking a spot too. Like, does the uh, Handmaid's Tale? What's the Liz with Moss? Like, Moss, she, yeah. like that's like such Nobody's a lazy. Nobody's fucking watching that No shit one cares anymore. anymore. <laughs> it was like in the beginning, you're like, oh crap, and now you're like, this is. This makes me not feel good every time I try and like yeah. even think about watching it. I'm like, no. Nah. It's suff it's suffer porn. Um, and it's gotten even worse as far as like making a comment on Right. Every then, it's so heavy handed. Oh uh, dude. And then the uh best actor in a limited series here. This is uh, this is the last one I'm gonna read here because I don't care about the rest of this. Okay. <laughs> Lynn Manuel Miranda for Hamilton. So Wait, it is a TV movie. Again? Yep. 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 <laughs> Yeah. I thought that was last I'm, year. People I'm, hate him. <laughs> I'm Mr. Like Song and Dance over here, and I got, I was so fucking bored. It's not even because of Hamilton. Watching a stage play yep. on screen is yep. awful. Awful. Yep. Awful. You know what it reminds me of? Remember like old British TV? That it was like looked exactly <laughs> like that. Very clear, bright lights, and then one set. And yep. you're like, man, this is their straight up <laughs> show, like sitcoms. Um the one thing I will say about America, that animated series, is they do kind of show Lin-Manuel 
Miranda randomly. And so I'm kind of like, I hope maybe they're making fun, fun of, of Hamilton. Him, yeah. I'm still trying to figure it out, but I hope that maybe it's a fuck you to that. I don't know. Uh, I, it's too tough to call. It's sure. too tough to call. Uh, there was, uh, Greg LaMontagne had a great comment here. Uh, he said, uh, <laughs> Jason Bateman was too busy with a $100 million podcast. You're right. There's three True. guys on that show. True. Uh, Sean Hayes, who I love, or whatever the opposite of that is. Uh, Will Arnett like and him. Jason Bateman, who are great. They're doing a 44-minute podcast once a week. Yes, they are slammed. They are fucking slammed. Yeah. From their houses. They don't go into nope. studios. No. From their houses. They're zooming in, bro. So they're- uh, yeah, No they're video. Real busy. Only audio. Real, real busy, so- there you have it. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know who's going to watch this. I don't know who your audience is anymore for this shit. And uh, I, I think next year will be the year they just switch to streaming. And they're like, we're all done with this. Um, I think shows. so. I think they're really, they're hanging on. But to be honest, so is TV in general. So everything on actual traditional media, TV, mm -hmm. all of this uh, is hanging on by a thread. Yeah. And yeah, 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 yeah. look. Whatever. Go for it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, it's just going to slowly kind of drop off. Um, I don't see award shows going past like next year or the year after and uh, just ratings wise. I think but it'll just be a, like a streaming thing and then, hey, we'll give you the, the award and ship it to your house and, and we're all good. Right. I, I think we're, we're pretty much done with it. So it, this is. It'll be sort of just like a yeah. some kind of chart, like a billboard or something that you're like, yeah. oh, cool. I got it. Like. Yeah. Uh, you and I will just be busy hoarding food that night. So, uh, okay. So this, we this get to the title. Going. What is going this on? This keeps going. Restaurants mm -hmm. are hoarding food. The wing shortage we've already discussed. The commercials for wing stops for the thighs, we're at the thigh stop now. Sure. Made me want to fucking throw up inside my mouth. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, my God. It's so thick. You're just eating a fucking well, chicken breast at that point. Exactly right. So I think the point of that, like, again, we've said last show or the show before, like, thighs are the best. They're the best part of the chicken. If you're going to cook, always use a thigh, right? Yes. But the point of a chicken wing is that you don't even really want the meat in there. <laughs> you only want the crispy skin and the sauce <laughs> and the ranch and the blue cheese or whatever. Sorry, blue cheese, man. Yeah. But um, so when you put more meat in there... It's just different. But look, people are just trying to do whatever they can, right? I'll do thighs. What's yeah. that fucking commercial? Nope. I'll just do thighs. Again, there's no such thing as a wing shortage in my house. Like, I made a shit ton of wings last night, so sorry, wing stop. Well, and I, I may have all of them at my house. I went after you. Because you were, we're only allowed two packs of wings at the grocery store. Right. I went after you and got two more as a separate human in person. I don't even care about admitting that. I ate, I ate all the goddamn wings and they were delightful. Right. You're the best cook on the planet. And I don't give a shit. Right. So, but I did say before, like, I didn't do it with toilet paper. I didn't do it with cleaning products. No. Wings. I will that's do it with wings. It's not going to kill anybody. No. If I have more wings no. than you. And the reason I, I bring this up today is uh, uh, somebody got popped. Major chain got popped for uh, hoarding chicken. Popeyes. Well. Popeyes is hoarding chicken. Apparently, they have a new nugget coming out, and they're worried that uh, there's going to be a rush of Popeyes. Everybody will get the nuggets, and then that's going to be it. Right. Now, look. Mm -hmm. If someone's going to do it correctly, a spicy nugget correctly. Right. If it's, cri if it's crispy like the sandwich at Popeyes, Mm. All in, never going back, and uh, it, but the lines are already crazy at Popeyes. So I will say, if anyone's gonna hoard and then actually use what they're hoarding, yep. it'd be Popeyes, right? Yeah. So like, look, and the most freezable meat ever is a chicken. I mean, I get it. Um, nobody's gonna die if they're not gonna die. But they they, they did run out of the chicken. sandwiches, um, and uh, chicken prices have jumped to an all time high. Um, 2.1% in the eighth straight month increase. And uh, yeah, man, I, like for whatever reason, um, McDonald's and everyone else has moved to this chicken sandwich mm -hmm. to try to go up against Chick-fil-A and uh, Popeyes. Good luck. It's futile. It sucks. 
I had the McDonald's one the other day just to do it, right? Because I wanted to talk about it on air. Mm -hmm. Fucking sucks. And they put like Big Mac sauce on the chicken sandwich. Oh, no. No, dude. No, no, no. No, 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 But no. I will say McDonald's is not hoarding because I don't think it's real chicken. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like a no, mush, no, sawdust no, kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, so McDonald's you, is fine. Like, you they're nobody, like, oh, yeah, we're good. We've got enough. It's like, no, you yeah, don't. There's, you don't. No, there's no rush on, like, chicken larynx and, like, no. yeah, the no, extra no. part. Beaks and vaginas. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, like, KFC is fine. They're growing their own in Petri dishes. So, like... You know, it's nice to hear that Popeye is, is still using, like, a real chicken breast. So yeah. good for them. Yeah. Um, again, Chick-fil-A, I'm sure, has, you know, their own farms. And they've, like, figured, dialed all that in. Because if anyone's going to figure it out, it'd be Chick-fil-A, right? Sure. As far to, like, expedite that. And, like, they're probably supplying everyone else. Who knows? In a real orderly fashion. Oh, yeah. God yeah, 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 yeah. Um... You know who's not sh has a shortage on workers? It's Chick Fil A. Oh no! 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 Up and running! Up and at them! Up and at them! Up uh, and at them! Um, the other we, thing, but we're gonna start hoarding food. I hoarding think that's food. Next. Uh, have you been to? Hate to say, but Starbucks lately. Uh, what about it? Um, so they're out of everything, <laughs> uh, constantly. And today that's she right. finally got right. a little snippy with me. Oh really? I'm like, hey, do you have bottled water? Uh, well, first I asked, do you have the turkey bacon? And oh man, we're out. Where there's a shortage. There's deliveries. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I've heard that before. Fine. Do you have bottled water? No, ma'am. There's a shortage still worldwide. Of water? Oh, water bottles. No, I'm sorry. That's not true. No, I'm the asshole. I didn't know that. Got one today. Exactly right. So I was like, oh, I guess I'm an, I'm an idiot. She made me feel like I, you know, but I don't pay attention to that stuff. But I was like, oh, geez. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. lady. And then almond honey flat white. Okay, we're out of the honey. I mean, I literally said, Jesus. And she was like, I mean, but I have honey packets I can put. Okay. You know what? Forget it. Er, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was at, crashed in the car in front of me and left. I was at a, you're right, man. So I was at a Starbucks uh, shit coming to the airport on the way out of there. Yeah, sorry, guys. Had to be done. It's the only drive through coffee place, but yeah. I, look, I don't give a fuck. That's all we have here. So yeah, yeah. not that we can really do. Um, I was at the, the one by the airport, and you're right. They were out of everything. I finally got so fed up that I, I this was Thursday night? Yeah, when did we leave? Oh, no, last Wednesday I'm sure night? you said, well, what do you have? Yeah, I go, I go let's, let's reverse engineer this. <laughs> I know tell exactly what you said. what you have, and then I'll tell you what I can possibly stand out of what you have. Yep. And they seemed shocked by that. They were like, sure. uh, we've got sure. coffee. And I was like, great. Do you have creamer? No, but we have Stevie. You got this other. Mm. Awesome. Awesome. Mm. Is there mm. anything mm. you can put in this that will not make it taste like coffee? What is it? <laughs> You're showing your ass a little bit now, but yeah. I don't care. Yeah. I don't care. Ross likes coffee, but he doesn't want it to taste anything like coffee. I don't even <laughs> want it remotely black. Oh, really? See, I had to take it straight black. I'm no. not there. I'm not there I'm not for taste. I'm not quite there, but pr I like yeah. the taste of it. I want it to be strong. I want it to taste like coffee. Yeah. Just a little bit of something. Who's just, the girl on Euphoria? That's what. That's the color I like my coffee right there. Whoopsie Daisy. What? It is Zendaya. Zendaya. Yes. Tom Holland's Give me girl. A nice Zendaya. Okay. What do you think about that pairing, Spider Man and Zendaya? I like it, dude. I, I Zen, like it too. I think Zendaya is fucking awesome, by the way. She is the best. She's one of my favorites. Oh, shit. Was that show on? Why is she not fucking yeah, nominated? She's not nominated. You know why? She was fucking amazing. Somebody took away her nomination, Bob. <laughs> Somebody with a dick. Well, Zendaya is oh, fucking awesome, dude. I, would, I still think Elizabeth Moss is the more egregious nomination. That's actually true. I, I actually completely agree we, with you've that. You've never seen Pose. Neither of you have seen it. So Th shut up. Shut your mouths up. Zendaya. It's all Zendaya, dude. Give everything to Zendaya. I'm all in on Zendaya. Tom Holland. So I, I saw that relationship. Now she's dating her, her uh, co-star from, from uh, Spider-Man. Tom Holland. Yeah. yeah. Dork. Let's let's step it up, dude. Zendaya needs to be with somebody rad, like Devin Booker. I've heard somebody he's, fucking cool. I've heard Tom Holland's pretty fucking rad. No, they have to fucking take his little script away because he keeps leaking shit from Spider Man. He's too excited. He keeps telling people he's twee and adorable, but also jacked. Yeah, well, I like what he's doing for shorts. Bob, let me put you on a cycle, dude. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> 
I, I can get you there in four months, dude. You want to see a brand you new? You guys bob? know. Well, you guys know I don't see color, race, anything, but I do say tall. I see talls and smalls, right? Like that's the only <laughs> way that I differentiate. I'm a small. Yeah. You're a tall. Yeah. I'm sure there's other talls, ladies that are like. You fucking took one of our talls. Do you know what yeah, I mean? There's yeah, not yeah. that many talls. <laughs> you have your pick of the shorts, right? So Holland is a short. Yep. She's a tall. Yep. Um, Weird pairing. She. I love that. I like it. There's very few. Oh God, damn it! I Look mean, okay. Is that uh, is that Gunnar Peterson? Who's Just he get with? a little color on that body and you'll Put, be is good that up to on full go. Screen? Well, shit. Look, man. Steroids. I, I've said this a thousand times. No, I think he's just very young. No, that no. is a healthy diet. He, yeah, he is young. Fuck off, dude. You yeah. can tell. Show how skinny he was when he started Spider Man. That's please. not steroids. You can tell. It's no. not those traps. Sure, sure, sure. Um, show how skinny he was. There's no like real veins in the arm. Show how skinny he was before the first Spider Man and then put those side by side. Because he was an actual kid. Uh huh. So he's growing. Yeah. How old is Tom Holland? He's not that old. 28. No. Uh uh no, he's young. Not worthy of Zendaya. He's twenty five. Oh, is he really? He's twenty five. Uh, and Zendaya's twenty four. It might be real then. And my I I'm, I'll strike that from the record. It might not be steroids. Y yes, you can get that at twenty. Okay, that yes. one I'll strike from the records. Yes. Ryan Reynolds, fuck off, dude. Thirty eight. Deadpool. No. Jing, 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 jing. Taking fucking steroids. That's fine. Yeah. But Zendaya is a princess. I don't know, man. I. Pff, no, he's too dorky. She she needs know. somebody cool, you know, like uh, Lakeith Stanfield. Put her with Lakeith Stanfield. Those two, those two motherfuckers are so cool, dude. I, I yeah, that's where that's where I that's what I want to see. I Even think John the Spider Man franchise though, like, makes their actors date. Well, because so? they yeah. always do, right? I have a reason behind this. You're stuck on those fucking things for six to eight months. There's a lot of movies that you're stuck on for six no, to eight months that there not. Isn't. There really isn't. Okay. If you break it down, right? Because uh, look, uh, take this is a perfect example. Take the Chris Pratt thing, right? Mm. Jurassic Park ended up shooting for eight months, and then he was doing the movie with Jennifer Lawrence, and it was like, dude, I haven't seen you in 14 months. Sure. You're out of there, right? right. Ends up banging Jennifer Lawrence and whatever. I don't uh, think they did. Yeah. <laughs> Me neither. Me neither, Jabes. Um, but with this uh, Marvel shit, yeah, dude, you're stuck, and it's nothing but green screen on some weird soundstage. You have two places to go, a green box all day or a trailer, and that's it. So, yeah, I understand it, mm -hmm. but uh, Zendaya is a princess, and we should treat her as such. If we're going royalty here, because the one I like is uh, uh, Rihanna and um, oh, yes. ASAP Rocky. What a perfect pairing. Fuck my yeah, God. dude. ASAP Rocky Gorgeous, is, is my fucking rad. dude. Yeah. Beautiful man. Beautiful man. Beautiful, too. Yes. You're right. Both You're of right. them. Perfect couple right there. I want to see Lakeith with fucking Zendaya, and let's let's make some more power couples happen, okay? What about John David Washington? Don't know who that is. I know uh, Jingle Hammer Schmidt. Denzel's son. Uh, yeah. he's all right. They were also in uh, Malcolm. Uh, <laughs> he's all right. <laughs> Marie. Yeah, but I, La Lakeith is uh, just cool. Like both of them, both of them are musicians too. So like, yeah, let's let's pair those people up. I don't know why we went there today, but we did. And I'm proud of us. Yeah. Just making magic happen and couples happen all over the world. I know. Um, but yeah, to Zenzai with the, with the Tom Holland thing, I was like, come on, dude. What are we doing here, brother? Good for him, though. Yeah. You know, for however long that lasts. But, uh, and he's British, too, right? Yeah. I think he's, uh, he's got a lot going for him. Yeah, yeah. You want to speak, uh, talk about somebody who's got a lot going for him? Let's talk about that sex life show on Netflix, Jabes. Whoa, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Clear it out. <clears throat> Clear out your throat for this one. Can now I, look, hey, we're can a little I bit. Clap? <sighs> we get applause. There it is. Now, if you're wondering why I'm asking for the applause, it is not for the show itself. No. It is only for one man's penis. That's right. That's right. Now, we're a little bit behind the curve. It feels like well, we were gone. We forever, were gone. And, yeah. So don't like come for us Tiger King style who actually has a dating show from prison. But um so there's a couple different layers to this. The sex life show, not great, but we do have a 6 degrees, 1 degree yeah. of separation, 2 yeah. degrees of separation from a couple of people on the show. Everyone's saying go to episode 3. The shower scene with the two guys, they're not together, no. They're just at a gym. 
and that's real. So when the guy turns around, the main character, yep. the other man, don't mean to spoiler, the other man, he turns around, that's real. It's not a prosthetic. That person exists. Huge cock. I mean, it is a fucking donkey Soft. dick on this guy. Soft and in the shower. And in the shower. That is, I'll give, I mean, I'll, they made I'll it give him one more, I'll give warm. him one more applause. I'll give him one more applause. Nice. That's a penis that we can get behind. Sure. Okay? That's a penis that we can get behind. Sure. You all know that I love dick pics, okay? Nothing makes me laugh harder than male genitalia, male nudity on screen, and gay sex scenes. We've established this. Mm -hmm. 700 episodes in at this point, okay? We know what I likey and what I don't likey. Sure, and it's- I'm on the phone with you in Vegas uh, late at night, and I go, what are, you, what are you doing? And you're like, oh man, all these housewives keep hitting me up asking me to watch the sex life. And I was like, oh, what the fuck is that? And then uh, they were like, I don't know, man. Some guys get some huge cock in like episode three. Everybody keeps talking about the dick or whatever. Yeah. I put you on speaker in the hotel, and I was like, what? Let me see this dick. Right. Let me see this dick, mm -hmm. and then I will decide. Yeah. People are treating this guy's cock online like it's the fucking end of the sixth sense, and I couldn't find... I made you stay on the phone for 20 minutes on speaker while I was just fumbling around going, I don't understand why I can't see his dick. Like, show me his fucking dick. Right, you're like, I'm gonna have to just watch the episode. Um, the main girl is someone that you actually know, married yep. to someone that we actually know. They got- Used to be married. <laughs> used to be married. They got divorced, divorced yes. fairly recently. Yes, she is now dating And him. now she's dating the hogster. Uh, the baguette, the hog father, the hog father. And, um, gosh, I don't know if there's anything worse as a man, right? Woman too, right? Yeah. The yeah. guy starts dating some girl that's just like, everybody's fucking talking about tits are huge, ass, whatever yeah. it is. Yeah. 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 So I don't know if you've checked on your buddy recently, but I would maybe do a wellness. Can't, can't okay. do that. Can't okay. do that because then you got to let him go through it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, uh, go to a single of Jesse's desk. Okay. So if you're looking at Jesse's desk, she's got a bottle of Topo Chico. His cock is bigger than that bottle. Yes. Okay. It is bigger than that bottle of Topo Chico right there. It doesn't open yet, but it looks like this. Yeah. Yep. And it's so big that, like, at the top, it looks like a creased. Do you know what I mean? Because it's hanging so yeah. far down yeah. Yeah. that it looks just like a flat crease down. Like, there's nothing here. Do you ever see those? And then it's big. Under those trees in people's yards that are tied down because they're worried they're going to tip over on somebody else's house. Uh -huh. He's going to have to tie that thing down eventually. Eventually, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or like crimp that top up because it's like crimping down to where I'm like, I'm worried about fluid yeah. blood oh, getting yeah, through yeah, yeah. there. Here's a question I never thought of until just now. And uh, I think about cocks a lot. So this is sure, kind of weird sure. that I have it. We know. You know how old guys, their balls just get lower and lower. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gravity yeah, has yeah, yeah. pulled them down. Yep. Sure. So like you're saying this guy's yeah. could get even bigger. Even longer. Yeah. Like oh crap. boy. Yeah. I don't know. Like is he gonna be I like you, I 80 think, and the, don't know. the But nurse that's what it kind yeah. of looks like is that it is stretching from the base. Yeah. That's yeah. what I mean. Like the base of it. So hey Bob, go uh just look up his cock on Google. There'll yeah. be like a an emoji over it so we can show it on screen, but this has been a TikTok phenomenon now, a uh, right. Twitter phenomenon, right. where they're just showing women's reactions to seeing this cock. Grandmothers, wives, college Dudes, girls, I mean, it's literally, dudes. you could do it with anyone. You could do it with me, and I, I would have clutched my pearls. Yeah. Oh, oh my when gosh. When he turns around, you'd be like, holy oh, no. shit, you keep rewinding it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's on screen. Yeah. And that's... But I'm telling you guys, that's how wait, wait, they had to cover up the whole thing. Here's the beauty of this. They had to enlarge this emoji yeah, yeah, yeah. to fit this guy's cock in. Yep. Um, it's too big. It's, what, what did you say last week? Skinny guys with huge cocks? That like, that's a thing? Yes, that is, a, that is absolutely a thing. Right. And like, this is the perfect example of skinny guy with a huge cock where you're like, dude, you don't even weigh that much to have a cock that big. Like, yeah. And we've all, we all have that one friend, that one skinny friend that we grew up with who has a huge cock. And you're like, Jesus Christ, 
Did all white the weight dude, they're did, always fucking yes. scruffy. You're did like all the weight go to your penis? What happened there? What happens? Right. Um, right. I mean, absolutely f- fucking out of control. The phenom- it's a phenomenon. It is. Hammer the like button if you're watching on YouTube right now for that cock, please. My God. If I could give it a, a standing ovation, I would. But I'll give it a sitting one. One more for that, that guy's cock. Yeah. Yep. And here's what we're going to do for you, kids. We're just going to tell you it's in episode three of Sex Life. So yeah, and I'm sure you can you don't actually have to watch find... the rest of the series. No, you can't find the photo. I no, no, no. I'm photo. sure you can find uh, find the time code, too, because it's not right in the beginning. <laughs> but I'm sure someone has, if they don't have the picture somewhere, they have the time code in the episode. Shower scene. That's all you need. Shower mm-hmm. scene for that. And uh, boom, you're good to go. You can fast with forward. With two guys, because, by the way, mm-hmm. there's two other shower scenes with him and the girl. So I thought okay. it was then. Okay. So I had to go through two other sh- shower scenes to get to this shower scene. I believe uh, the scene occurs at approximately 1950. There we Perfecto. go. 1950. We sh- I, you know what? We should change the name of this episode to uh, Six to, Sense Dick. To episode three, six. People won't know, but episode three, <laughs> 16, or 1950. 1950 is the time code on that. And they'll be like, what in the hell is yeah. this title? You'll see. And what you want to do on something like this, when somebody gives you an exact time code, start 30 seconds earlier so you can kind of prepare yourself, like watch some normal shit and then just, oh, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Have that grab you, that cock, you know? I would, yeah. But uh, couldn't find it and I made you stay on the phone for like 20 minutes and you were like, dude, I gotta go to bed. And I'm like, bro, like I I can't to see this cock. And you're like, why do I have to be on the phone? Yeah, exactly. I was like, can't you just find it without me? I tried. Sure. Yeah, after we got off the phone? Spent another 20. Did you? Uh, 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 Did where, you? Where is the con- That's how much I love this shit, and it makes me laugh harder than anything else. Yeah. It's a funny one. Yeah. That one's a funny one, because <laughs> the, the reaction is so um, visceral. It's so, it's so real. You're like, ah, ah, oh, God. And then you think of all the things. All of the things. Because you're almost like, even Dan said, too big. Like, oh, yeah. you are kind of like, nah. No. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Initially, you're like, whoa. And then you're like, no. Yeah, then you're like, no. I'm, I, you know what? Let's just shit on people's dreams today. Can we just do that? I uh, love it. Yeah. My, I don't think you sh- anyone died, so should have go any. Against the, uh, let's just go against the grain here. Computer died. And, okay. Uh, let's just go for it today. Sure. I read this fucking article about Duh Baby this morning, mm. um, who I know you love. And I apologize, Delco Dan, but uh, Delco Duh Dan Baby. likes the Duh Baby. Da baby, um, got stopped by some uh, kids for some Girl Scout cookies and uh, gave him a few shekels. Okay. And the, uh, the girls were like, "No, we want two hundred dollars," and he was like, "Absolutely not," and walked away. And people were like, "You could afford this. You should have given them the money." Why were they asking for that? I don't know. Because they knew it was him. Yeah, yeah, they knew it was him. So. Seems a little much. That's to me. not and how that works. And people are going works. after him online, where it's just like that's hey, how no, that's not how it works, right? Yeah, that's not how it works. Get, they are a they are a price. They're There's, trying to get their quota with one person. And that's oh, so they wanted him to to buy a bunch. The baby, yeah, they wanted him to buy the whole thing, and he's just like. I mean, look, no. you can ask ladies, but you can't be pissed yeah. if he doesn't want to. <laughs> Where's the troop leader to tell him that? Could learn him that lesson. <laughs> also, like, what? Fuck you, girls. Like, I I want cookies too. <laughs> You're going to give them all the... Like, I would be exactly furious. Exactly right. I'm in line behind the baby, and I can't get a fucking tag along because you guilted him into buying all of them? Exactly oh, right. Oh, man. Tag I, along, even. Th- yeah. Did you hear that? Yep. That's a that's a true <laughs> canoeser. Because <laughs> I used to call them... What, I was just like, the coconut ones with the stripies on them. But yeah. yeah. Uh, that's nope. a Samoa. Samoa, sorry. Okay. So that's the one I wanted. Uh, Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Don't go. He didn't even have to look that up. GS cookies, dude. Um, There was probably only the lemon ones left. Yeah. (sighs) Um, But like this, this brings up a a, a, like a bigger issue to me because this has been happening a lot lately where people are also leaking like tips that people leave Mm -hmm. and then screenshotting that and being like, oh, Ben Affleck was here and gave me a thousand dollars or so-and-so is here, this celebrity, and gave me $20 and mm-hmm. fuck them and fuck mm-hmm. all these people and all this shit. And you're just like, it's ruthless. Well, they'll only do it if it is actually a bad tip. So do you no, know what I mean? They'll like, do they'll, they're doing it for good tips as well. Yeah. Well, Chad no, I'm Johnson. saying like they're yes. doing it for good, but they won't be like, 
if you just leave 20%, they're not going to be like, oh, he only left 20. It's if they leave like an actual, you don't know how to tip. Right. Tip. But, but go to talk about the Chad Johnson one. I saw that one as Chad well. Chad Johnson would like, it was notorious for leaving like thousand dollar tips on $2 mm -hmm. yeah. bills. Yeah. Um, and Donnie Wahlberg, I guess apparently uh, always like leaves. Yeah. That oh. makes sense because he's a restaurateur. Exactly. Well, and he's also in uh, NKOTB and Blue Buds and... Band of Brothers. He's fine on cash. He's yeah. got Wait. a ton of money. He was in Band of Brothers? Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. That was his first acting thing. Sergeant Carwood Lipton. Was he good? He he's was. good, yeah. actually. He was quite he was, good in it. He's actually that's good. That's what got him all the other yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's actually good. Yeah. He's decent. Yeah. He's decent. But that trend is like, man, you're really, you know, man... I mean, I don't mind it, but... Have you ever... Has it happened to you and somebody looked at you and they were like, hey, dude, I know who you are. What, what are you leaving for that tip? Nobody know, has ever <laughs> known who I am. Let me tell you the one time somebody recognized me, okay? Uh -huh. Fun story. I <laughs> was working. I was a waitress at the French place and someone recognized me from Bellflower and I had to then ask them what their drink order was, okay? <laughs> so like, I don't get recognized. And when I do, it's because, and it's in, it's a, in a situation where I'm then going to actually serve you. Yeah. And they're like, wow. And they look down on me like, oh, it didn't work out, huh? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so no, no, no one recognized me. And I also over tip. Yes, yes. Because yes. I spent that much time in that. Yeah. And I do know what it feels like when someone gives you same, a big same, tip yeah. is that it's like it makes your whole fucking day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for one, for a bunch of reasons. Sure. Money's one, but yeah. the other one is like, man, I'm fucking killing it. <laughs> right? So, yeah. I mean, shit, if I, if I had those guys, whoever these like famous people, if I had their money, it would probably be all gone because I would over tip everywhere I went. Like yeah. way too much. Yeah. Where they're like, why is she homeless now? She tipped too much. <laughs> Honestly, like, I like it. I like doing it. Yeah. Our yeah. dude at the Mexican place that we go. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, whenever you leave and I have to pay. Sorry, but. Because he's jacked. I give him way 25. too much. He's like, no, he's just super nice. He always recognizes dude. No, us. Great. Dude, he's like your buddy. We always, uh, we always, we tip well. So yes. it's, it's fine. But uh, yeah. Um, that, that thing that's, that fad that's popping up now, cause we'll get it from drinking bros like Dan and I, where we're out and people just want to do shots all the time. And it's like, that's fine. Right. I was in the airport and this listener was just like, Hey dude, I really want to fucking party with you. Um, I just want to do a shot with you. I was like, great. We're in an airport right now. <laughs> they have alcohol there. Bought, yeah. He bought uh, uh, a couple of air, airplane bottles, mm -hmm. warm fireball. And, uh, that was on Sunday morning. Your welcome did it did it pound it pounded and grounded and that's, uh, yeah that's what happened yeah. okay and uh no, mm. no i was it's fine um, oh sure because i was just getting on the flight so. right right uh one of shout out spirit we didn't have a choice but to go on spirit on the way home again <laughs> same never had a problem on that fucking shitty airline i don't even know if i can call them shitty anymore i'm not calling them shitty it's like, crazy. i've never had a bad they've never let me down and uh with the way flights are going i know everybody's flights are getting canceled and all that stuff dan had two more canceled on sunday there was one out of vegas to austin there was only one non-stop one and it was spirit and you had to go at this exact time it was like yep. one o'clock you get yep. on the plane that's it Sorry about your life. If you wanted some other airline, you're getting two stops. But you know why they do that. So uh, like American Delta, for example, they will cancel your flight if there's not like enough people on there. Right, right, right. Right? But when you go or once a day. <laughs> when you go once a day. But they've done it right. You streamline it. Mm -hmm. You're not getting canceled because they don't have enough people on. Right. You will go. Yeah. yeah. Right? If something crazy doesn't happen weather-wise. Yeah. You will go because they need to go. Right? Yeah. Or someone needs to get back or whatever, and they've got a packed, packed flight. Yeah. I think it's smart. Spirit, they're doing it. They're doing it. They're doing it. They're so doing it. And I'll, again, fun. I'll give, a, I'll give a shout out to Spirit, dude. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. I don't know. Uh, and the exit rows on those goddamn things. Endless <sighs> legroom. I've never seen anything like it. <sighs> Kareem Abdul, I could be sitting next to Kareem Abdul Jabbar and Hakeem Elijah, and we'd all be fine. You know? So it's fine, yeah. Because we're all the same size. So we would all be fine on that, but uh, right. shocked. That guy from Sex Life's 
dick could be sitting next to you. Well, and you'd gonna, be fucking fine. He's going to have to order an extra seat for that thing. Well, he at least <laughs> needs a big seat so he can manspread, right? That yeah. guy can't cross his legs ever. <sighs> Boy. It'd be like crossing your leg over a wiener dog. You know, over a Datsun. Yeah, it would just be one leg is super high over, and you're yeah, like, what and you're is like, Whoa, under there? Is it? Did you put a speed bump on your own leg? Were you running too fast? Or nope, that is just your ding dong, sir. Huh. I apologize. That is just your ding dong, and I am sorry. Or it. Southwest. Someone's saying Southwest, too, will fly with mostly empty. Again, the only other one, before Spirit, yeah. Southwest yeah, yeah, was yeah, my yeah. favorite for that reason. Yeah. Fun, flirty, chill, mm-hmm. jokes. Laughter. Jokes, laughter. Spirit's kind of the they same way. They usually go. Yeah. They do a bunch of flights a day. But yeah. Uh, lastly here, um, the, uh, they've got the, the top places to live in the United States of America. No, that just came out today. Don't do that. Everybody's going to fucking go there. Well, I'm going to do it because we're not going there. No, no, not I'm you. Supp- I'm saying I'm surprised at this. The one. article's already out. I'm just saying don't do that. Yeah. So Boulder, Colorado is number one. Heard about it. I've heard of it. <laughs> No, I thought that's where Rogan was going to go first, remember? Everyone's like, he's going to Colorado. Or maybe yeah. Denver, yeah. Denver. Um, I've, look, I've been in Boulder. It's <laughs> Okay, fine. Dan. It's What's another fine. one, Delco? Uh, yeah, Delco is up there. Is the Delco on there? <laughs> nope, it's not. <laughs> Did you imagine if they put Delco on there? Dude, they fucking Where should. was Homegirl's nomination for, I guess for maybe that'll be next year? Yeah. Next year, yeah. Next yeah, year. Yeah, okay. damn. All right. mm-hmm. All right. She will be. They're going to. Get all the stuff. Yeah, so they've got uh, they've got Boulder there at uh, Numero Uno. Really? Um, okay. Best one attracting uh, employees and job stability here. Uh, Is what Boulder's the third highest performing job market in 2020 behind Washington D.C. and San Jose, California. San Jose, what's there? Tech shit. Okay. Yeah, that's Silicon Valley. Yeah, okay. that's all bled into that area. Too. The average okay. annual salary in Boulder is uh, sixty-seven thousand dollars. Holy shit! Yeah, I was about to say, oh, Boulder. Wow, I bet a lot of people can move there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. If you want, it's like it's exactly. All- it's like, oh, the best place to live is fucking Beverly yeah. Hills. <laughs> we know no one else is gonna go there. <laughs> Try and get in. Yeah. High altitude and high quality of life is what they're saying, Jabes. Good for them. Okay. Good for them. No, thank you. Um, but uh, this one I can't get behind, okay? Ann Arbor, Michigan. No. Absolutely um, not. No. Oh. Nope. Been there. Been there numerous times. Uh, hate Ann Arbor, Michigan. Not because Tell it's Tell me home. why. It's, it's home of uh, University of Michigan. That's the only reason I it think It is you're... not. Yeah, because it's gorgeous, right? It's one, oh. of the, it's one of America's great college towns. Okay, just like so, it's fun, pretty. What? Yeah. Have you partied okay. there? Uh, I haven't partied there. No, but it's I've been through. It's fucking awful to party in. It's one of um. It's one of everyone says that it, it like is. it's highly ranked college town pretty much always. No, no one parties there. No one parties there. Um, so anyone in the chat? I want to go ahead and We've scratch off got- the entire state of Michigan. Okay. Well. <laughs> Arkansas, I'm going to scratch off as well. All of it. Okay, are they saying Ar- somewhere in Arkansas? No. But okay. they should. <laughs> okay, so we're not doing the list anymore. We're just doing places that no, no, Ross no. doesn't like. Ann, Ann Arbor was was right behind Boulder, and it okay. was just like, we'll, we'll just substitute Ann Arbor for Wisconsin, like Madison. Madison. Yes. So yeah. now Madison is a is a great party school. I guess I, I 100% agree with that. I'm in just not Ann Arbor. It's uh, it's it's a weird town. It's super liberal too, by the way. Mm. So you know I I love there's a, that. There's a college there. Well, and he's Michigan there's a college. Is, it's gonna be. April. Yeah, it's Michigan. I mean, what you do know? you think Boulder? <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, don't don't think I, that you're getting. No, Boulder. I will say this: the, I the, it's mostly like hippies and fucking let's smoke weed and snowboard. Like, have you been to Boulder? Boulder, I've not. I've been to Denver, not Boulder. Okay. And Boulder, I I mean, yeah, it, like that sort of area of the country, the liberal set tends to be a lot more self determinant liberal. Like, yeah, a lot they're, of they're, lot of Duluth trading company. Yeah, yeah they're, a in lot the, of they're in the middle. Hiking. They don't. They won't agree with you about the uh, Pose nomination, but they'll agree with you about like doing drugs and guns. Yeah, yeah. Oh. It's it's, uh, it's it's definitely in the middle for sure. Maybe I should go there. Uh have you? You've never been? Yeah. You were in Denver, right? I was in Denver, but I haven't been to Boulder. Okay. No. Um. Yeah. Boulder. Same diff. Where I'm like, wow. Mm. Yeah. 
Yeah, Denver's not the same. Uh, it's too different. No, I'm not. Boulder no, I'm not saying it's is the like same. outdoorsy and like, hey, let's go fucking snowboarding That's what I mean. and yeah, no, I'd hate it. And yeah, you hike and hiking, stuff. Hiking, yes, fishing, all that stuff. Yeah, rocks, yeah, lots of yeah. flat. Where's red? Where's red? Is it Red Rocks? Red Rocks, yes. You've Where been is there. that? It's outside of Denver. That's in it's Denver. Okay, Denver. sorry. Yeah, sorry. you went there too. Yeah, but if it's a lot of that, no. A lot of those rocks. <laughs> it's like flat, high rocks. No. All right. All right. No, I don't hike. I mean. No, I know. Yeah, no, I no, know. no. I know. You're you're uh, done with your hiking face. Hiking, camping. Yeah. That got ruined for you as a, as, a, as a girl, though, I, I would imagine. Liking, so, yeah. Yeah. Well, in Ohio, it was the only, remember, it's the only place that we would have to like drink because it was like all just super small town and a lot of nature. So every time you want to go drink, you get a group and you have to hike. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. To some spot. And then the guy, then hike back. the guy you had to bone in the tents. Uh, what was that? Oh, Nature Pimp. Yes. 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 Yep. Yes. I think that ruined all That's of that. That's a classic. For you. Yeah. 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 I'm like, I don't want to hike with you. Right. I don't know what what uh, structure is going to appear on the top of the mountain that you just like <laughs> discovered. No. Trauma. It's been a weird show today Every and I love it. Every fucking time. By the third time I was like, "Fucking really?" Yeah. Some yeah. cabin. Ooh. Yeah. And I've got the key. What the fuck? <laughs> One was a teepee? A huge fully You had sex in a teepee? Um Proud of you. Kind kind of. But yeah. Yeah. What do you mean kind of? I was of? stuck there. What do you mean kind of? You know. Yeah. No, I don't I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yes, you had sex inside a teepee. That is impressive. I've not had sex inside of a teepee before. Okay? So I'm missing out on that in this life. Right. But if we're going tit for tat, I'm sure you'll win on where you have and done no, and all of that stuff. No, so it's fine. No. It's just Nature Pimp is an interesting story. <laughs> it's very Ojai. It's like quintessence Ojai, right? It is, yeah. Because it's just a thing. You you can have things, uh, tents and teepees set up in these random places. No one's going to touch them. No one's going to mess with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. After all the places and all the things we've done in this life, like I'm, I'm the beach is it. Like I know, I know my spot now. I think I've got my spot and the thing, mm -hmm. and it's kind of working towards that, where it's just okay. like, all right, great. Okay, that's the final place. I used to have that fantasy of uh, going to the woods in a cabin and looking over the beautiful mountains and all that other shit. Where did we go during that hurricane? Uh, Ash, what was it, Asheville? Black Mountain. Black Mountain, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we woke up every morning. We're like, oh, man. It was gorgeous. Breathe this in. And then uh, the next day, we looked over the balcony and saw our grandmother, your your mom. Yeah, with, with my newborn, newborn and a child, bear behind a them. giant black bear that was right behind them. Yeah. So then I said, meh. We crossed that off the list. And I said, meh. They're herbivores. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean. Black bears aren't going to nah, fuck bro. They're scared of you. <laughs> Really? That's not true. Doesn't you know a newborn what they're not, look like a piece of? Yeah, you know what they're not scared of is a toddler. No. Yeah, exactly right. And Rick, they're and they're not herbivores. They're omnivores. Oh, they're they're yes. they're like raccoons. They'll eat fucking anything. Anything. Yes, dude. if they're hungry enough. Yep, they'll eat you, your whole family, and all of it. Uh, Saw Legends of the Fall. I'm all good. You know? Yeah. So. R.I.P. Tristan. Done with a cabin. A.K.A. Brad Pitt. Yeah, done with the cabin. Uh, part of me was like, all right, maybe Palm Springs at one point, right? And mm. then I went there. And it was 180 degrees every single day. And right. that was out the window as well. Sure. Uh, you know, rivers. Like, oh, yeah, maybe I'll back up to a river or whatever. Right? <laughs> the water moccasins, the whole shit, everything else. So, no. Right. It's pretty much just beach and that's it at this point. I, I think, think where we are now, you're probably roughing it as much as you're going. Like, that's the most you're going to rough it. Right? Like having to get... Like all that? Yeah, yes and no. So here's why, here's why I say that, right? When you get acres of land and you think that's fun and flirty and sexy and all that shit, you got to take care of it. And so that becomes a, its own situation. Like our neighborhood, everybody has like an acre and a half, right? Mm -hmm. As you drive around it, some of them, like the grass is still growing and it's, you know, they're cutting the grass themselves and you're like, I get it. It's an acre and a half and that's a fucking day, Bob. You know? Right. It's right. a full day of uh, doing shit. If you have enough help on acres of land, great. Congratulations. That's amazing. And, you know, you wake up and somebody else is doing it, doing all the shit for you. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Texas, though, is so goddamn hot in the summers that it's like, uh, there's, unless you have a pool, 
There's little reprieve from it, right? So you could even look at, like we looked at Wimberley, where it was just like a bunch of shit in there. And you're like, all right, great. So you can get 140 acres or something crazy like that, right? I'm still super down for Wimberley, but it's a little bit too far. I would yeah. have to have a studio out there. Yeah. But yeah. You bitch because the Walmart's like 40 minutes away. And I understand it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well. Just to getting to like simple things. Yeah. That you, you, need you have time. Day, you have time for one thing. You cook a, day. a lot and you're a great cook. Thank you. You go to the grocery store every day and try to cook, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Either something new. We, we do a lot of HelloFresh at our household. Mm -hmm. um, but on the weekends, you'll go to the grocery store, find something new and fun and uh, whatever it's going to be. You don't have that option anymore out, out in the conch. So. Right. I mean, I have H. I have H and B. Yeah, you do now. But if you moved out to Wimberley. No, there's H E B out there. Is there? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. There's a whole little like cool super like town center. I want to say they even have. So would you do that? Would you go to like two, like a uh, 150 acres, 200 acres type sitch for the end of it, the end of life? <laughs> nah. Okay. Nah. Nah. No. Well, I thought we were gonna do New York, but you're changing it. I've I'm I'm out of that altogether now. Okay. Uh, out of it altogether, just okay. because. Um, everyone we have on the show, we, who do we have on yesterday? Uh, Kevin. Kevin. Uh, from Are You Garbage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, Ryan, Kevin Ryan. Yeah, Kevin Ryan from Are You Garbage. He's in New York, and he's just like, dude, I, I've got to get out of here. Every single person's like, I've got to get out of there. Um, By the time I'm ready for pills, martinis, and moo-moos, I think it might be back. I don't Back think, in a different way. Uh, we're, we're on the third booster shot now. They're talking about that. Uh, France is now having, you've got to show your vaccination card to get into restaurants, bars, soccer games, all that other shit. No, there's going to be variants of variants of variants for years. And I don't want to go through something like this again and then be stuck in New York and be like, oh, fuck. No, that's that fair. That changed every, I'm dead sick. COVID changed it all for me where I was that's just like, fair. all right. Because there's no, uh, I look, I'm still on this tip that the, it came out of the Wuhan lab and all that other shit and it was created, right? I, what's to stop that from happening in another 15 or 20 years when technology is so fucking crazy by that point? Like, no, dude. If you're stuck in New York, watching those people get stuck there and then going through it, and watching my friends in L.A. still with mask on and shit, I'm like, oh, God. Because they're going through a heat wave. There's a fire now. There's wildfires out yeah. there. Um, I didn't hear about this until this morning. People were posting pictures. But then now you have a mask on. I mean, I guess the mask is great for the fires. but um. <laughs> Yeah. But I don't want to get stuck there either. So I think if you're, if you're on a beach, they really can't control you where it's just like, hey, I'm going to go out to my own beach and fuck you. Okay? I'm going to do what I want. No, I got you. So I think that's, that's I've made my decision, I think, in this life. And that's, that's kind of it. Whereas before, like with the Boulder, Colorado thing, like you entertain shit like that because you, you see a great Airbnb. Somebody sends you a Zillow of uh, some cabin house. Mm -hmm. By a stream and you see, you know, some somebody pulling a salmon out. Sure. Like the guy from Sex Life where he pulls out his own dick. Yeah. Just two hands. Oh, yep, yep. oh, oh, shit. This is Catches lively. it at the fish market. Yeah, this is lively. Um, Puts a newspaper around it. Yeah. Catches it. <laughs> um, <laughs> It'd be great if he went to, what was it, Seattle? Where they throw the fish to you and you catch it. Yeah. And, and they, he lets the fish go by, but then puts the newspaper on his dick. On his own dog. Got it. Like, yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah, he can't do the bubble gum thing. It's a salmon thing instead. He's yeah, like, yeah, oh. yeah. It's too big for the bubble gum thing. Yeah, just puts it on the fish <laughs> yeah. scale on Slaps the fucking, it down. at the grocery store. Yeah. <laughs> I caught an eight pounder. Yeah. Caught an eight pounder. They're like, wow, this guy really is self-aware. Yeah. What's yeah. the hanging? Price yeah. of a pound on eel, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly watch but out you used to entertain all of that and then little by little like as it's all declined like at one point san francisco man i love san francisco growing up it was beautiful it's a beautiful city uh if you would have told me hey dude san francisco and you can live in one of those full house houses uh. and you can look at the golden gate bridge it's 60 every day which i love it's sure great. Um, perfect yeah it's great it used to be clean and the food mm. was awesome and no mm. shithole. Mm. Seattle used to be a beautiful city. Right. Shithole. Los Angeles used to be a beautiful city. Sure. Shithole. Sure. Uh, New York used to be, okay. well, there was a good 15 year run with New York and now it's a shithole. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to close this up with New York for you, by the way. 
Okay, uh, I'm going to close it, but yeah. Are you? Just one quick thing. Wow. That I will not let die, as you know. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, the Bourdain doc uh, is is approaching us fast. Okay. And the reviews are out. They're uh, incredible. Where is it? I don't streaming? know where it's streaming, um, but uh, I just read like two reviews last night, and uh, they went through 10,000 hours of back footage from... What's the show? What's the show he was well, on? Well, there's a couple, but no, no reservations. Yeah, yes. no reservations. Um, uh, parts unknown. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 10,000 hours. Mm -hmm. They comb through of footage to find all the shit Line behind the, the scenes, yeah. everything else. Uh, people were talking about what an asshole he was and blah, blah, blah. Not that that's shocking because um, you're shooting on the road all day long and everything else. He's the same kind of asshole. But they said as the last. You are. Yeah, exactly. Um, but the last third, they're saying. Everybody keeps talking about that relationship with Homegirl. And they were like, man, you're painting. They're not saying her name, but you're able to paint your own picture based on what you know about the relationship. And they get into it. Apparently, one of the, one of the reviews I read last night, one of the, the scenes was, I guess, two episodes before he died, they let her direct. He asked for her to direct an episode somewhere. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, had it out with the whole fucking like they were like no you fucking hate this girl blah 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 and the the dp of that show quit and he was the dp for years and years and years and uh and i guess bourdain was just like well see you later that's it you're gone if dp of 0.0, .0 leaves you don't have you don't have a production company but like it, they and they all of them said it was the director and, and it was her and so I'm, now I'm I'm really looking forward to this, um, but juice. yeah, the juice. So the reviews were lights out. I know you're going to be amped about this movie. We'll watch it like second one that it comes out. Obviously, and I am too now. Now that I've read these reviews, and I'm like, oh shit! All right, because that's what I really wanted to know. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I still don't believe. Like he's not a fucking idiot. He is self aware in a lot of ways. I don't. I just could not go to the place of this girl is why allegedly because, they go through it they because walk through that's it. because that is negating whatever actual depression demons and things he actually had which listen i've went through all of this right yeah like i was devastated i had to make sense of it yeah. was it strangle baiting that would almost make me feel better oh, i don't know I but anyways so. i had to go with the point of like okay I don't understand depression and addiction and demons and stuff like that. Yeah. I must not because it's the only way that this person would kill themselves. Definitely not over a girl. They're fucking grownups. Maybe I'll see. Never Maybe know. I'll see. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You want to close it with something fun? Go ahead. So it's something that obviously I will not let go. And I was not letting go of Hillary Baldwin of Boston. Correct. That's Ilaria. not... No, Hillary. Yep. Um, not Spain. Sure, sure. Hillary Baldwin of Boston. Sure. She was staying pretty quiet, laying low. Yeah. I, again, would not let anyone forget. I would talk to people <laughs> about it constantly like, oh, yeah, just so you remember. Remember when Alaria said mm -hmm. she was Spanish for all those years, like 10 years? Yeah, got yeah. Alec Baldwin under the guise of being that. And <laughs> just don't want you to forget that, right? So she popped her little head back up to explain mm -hmm. no one's asking no no one's asking nope. we get it we got it it was all explained yeah, yeah, and now yeah, you yeah. need to figure it out yeah. so she popped her head back up and wanted to talk about her culture being fluid ah. so she is culturally fluid yes Great. yes Great. right how, Multi. How sometimes you can feel a little more feminine sometimes you feel a little more masculine sure some days you feel like a spaniard yes some mm -hmm. days you're just a spaniard sure right sure right someone was talking about this so <laughs> we were thinking alec baldwin like just didn't even ask right like there's no way that he actually asked like okay wait so where are you from like how long did you live there like he just didn't he didn't want to know I don't well, think that he can I pried stand, too much can into I stand her. Up for Alec Baldwin, real quick. It's not even really standing up for him. I just think he's like, cool. I like you. You're hot. You're bendy, right? You snap back after a pregnancy like that. Yoga. I like you. Yeah. I'm not gonna yoga. Yeah. I'm not gonna like pry into like how Spanish are you? Like any of that. No guy cares, right? So 
that's one of the things where if you tell a guy, oh, yeah, I'm from Spain and I'm Ilaria and all this other shit, you're not really going to do any back research on that where you're like, eh, okay, cool. If your mom didn't get the 23 and me, I would have thought you were Mexican. Right, but... I wouldn't have dug. I didn't dig. I've, we, right. We've been together for 10 years. Right, but I you met dig. my grandma as well, who can like barely speak English because of her accent, right? right, right. So it's like, you were like, ah, oh, okay. But yeah. Alec must have met her super white Spanish professor dad <laughs> at some point, right? Maybe at the wedding. <laughs> you know what I mean, though? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. then you would go, oh, huh. so you guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's too far, right? So it's at the wedding. It's gone too far. I'm not going to ask any more questions. Your parents yeah. are the whitest people I've literally ever seen in my life. Yep. Don't know where you went to high school. Don't know how long you were in Spain. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> but if she did, if he did ask, so what? So how long? Well, my dad's a Spanish professor in Boston. Huh? So anyway, yeah, so she was, she did a tweet, but then she also ended the tweet, right, Bob, with a story about a trans, a sad story about oh, a trans child boy. that either committed suicide or something. So basically we need to be all more compassionate to people that identify as a certain thing and mm -hmm. just let them do that. Sure. Uh, so again, Twitter is right back on that train uh, and i love every second of it because she popped her little beak out and was like hey guys are we good and they're like no uh, we're not fucking good get back in your hole with your 20 kids and bye bye like you're done why you're done why do i don't understand so like with with chrissy Teigen and, and then this chick right you're already married to the super most rich people you can do and you get to do all the things and all the cool shit why do you want to be famous as well and have that on you? Because it's the only reason that you got together with this person, right? Boy, I would, I'll, 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 I've said this before and I'll say it again. If I could get you on a show with Christina P, where my mom's at, okay? Right. And it was the two of you guys hosting. I think it would be the biggest show in the entire world. I would quit and hold your purse at all of these events because that's, that's it, I don't care. Why these other people give a shit, I just don't understand. Like, tell me about it. The cool shit you can do with that much money. Ask Delco Dan. There's a pan to him, for Christ's sakes. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's wearing a Martin Luther King jersey because he lost a bet. Stand yeah. up a little bit. Let him see that jersey. Let him see that jersey. Martin there Luther King go. jersey of Trey Young because he lost a bet. There you go. And uh, that guy. You give him what one point five two million dollars, you're out of here. You never return, right? Oh, he'd never five. talk to any of us again. Five. That's right. Okay. Five, yeah. five, five makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. You can buy the house on the beach, probably on a Jack Nicholson golf course or Jack Nicholas golf course. No, we're going Caribbean. Oh, is that where? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love how you've got it planned out already. Oh yeah, he's like thirty. He's thirty, and he's already thinking about retirement. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm talking about. This is what <laughs> money does for you. Why do you have to pop back out and be famous and do all the things? Because you're dehydrated. I'm thirsty. Mm -hmm. Man. Because you can't live without it. Because you think that your voice, same with Chrissy Teigen, she won't stay off either. Now she's posing. I got a tattoo. And I'm baking with my kids. You can't, your life doesn't happen. It's like a tree falling in the woods. Like your life doesn't really happen if the whole world doesn't know about it. Yeah. What's it's up, crazy, Bob? It's also though. just like people, everyone should be, like you know how they say like everyone should like uh, work in a restaurant or everyone sure. should you know what i mean yeah right everyone should be legitimately have some level of fame for like six months not a bit it doesn't need to be huge but they need to like understand what it's like to have people come up to you at a bar yeah right. and be like you or yeah. whatever yes. so that they can understand essentially if nothing else the profit motive behind people doing something just for attention they don't exactly they don't understand how addictive it is how fucking validating it is. Yeah. Any of that shit. It's like, well, why would they, like, when, whenever someone says, why would you, they do that just for attention? What? You just answered your own question. You answered your own question. That was he Rob's humble brag to say that he's been approached at a bar. Yes, it's true. You did? Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, Bob was, uh, from soft cut? Bob was college, no. college famous from uh, old, TFM. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh. Total frat move. Well, that's um, way cooler than my story, uh, Bob. I'll, 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 were you drinking or working there? Uh, You're no, welcome. I was, I was yeah. yeah I, you I'll, weren't serving the guy, were you? <laughs> but anyway, 
Uh, case yeah, in, no, exactly right. Like, ca ca But case in point, I ran into uh, Theo Vaughn at uh, the fight Saturday night, right? Yeah. Dude, he was getting fucking his arms ripped off by people. And yeah, finally, dude. like, because uh, we were both going up to get food. And finally, he had to tell fans, like, in a polite way, who were just grabbing his arm. He was just, like, dude. He goes, hey, he goes, hey, dude. I just have to eat. Yep. I just have to eat. And it happened very quickly, and he's not super into it. So no, and it's hard. So I went to, uh, both both of us ended up eating the same place, and so we were chatting for a while, like 20, 30 minutes. Um, great fucking guy. Yeah. Could not be more honest and open about life. Yeah. He's was Which supposed to be on Drinking Bros love before, his show. Yeah. but uh, he moved to Nashville. We're in Austin now, and so it's, it's, a, it's a rough get-along. That's not a guest that I want on Zoom. I want him in person and, and all that shit. Yeah. For real. Like, no, no, for sure. Because it, he's that rad. It'll um, happen. He'll just come through, maybe chill out. Like, things will chill out a little bit. I don't know. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and he goes, man, this podcast shit is crazy, right? And I go, it is. But I go, it's a little crazier for you because of the Rogan effect. So I'm like, dude, that's another. Once you're on Rogan, it seems to change, like, the course of every comedian's career and all that's that right. other shit. And, right. uh, and you could see it happening. Dude, he could not do it. And like to, to Bob's point, man, go out, go out everywhere and, uh, and then see what that's like and see if you want. I don't know why either like Chrissy Teigen or, or Ilaria and all that other shit, like you're already with the most famous people already. And now you want to be like, well, because watch I her old interviews too. She would cut off Alec and just get in there and say weird shit. Oh yeah. And you're yeah. like, Hey dude, no one wants to talk to you. Um, but also the thing of it is, because they are still famous. So, for example, Chrissy Teigen, right? Mm -hmm. Or her. People are still going to recognize you. You just want it to go back to the way it was, where people recognize you and love you. Yeah. Right? So, <laughs> so with them, with them, I get a little bit to where it's like, unless she, I mean, she should just literally stay in her mansion or get, buy a house Still out in the country. Media. Yeah. Get off social media. Yeah. But again... If they go anywhere, still, Chrissy Teigen and Hillary, if they go to the grocery store, if they're on the street, whatever, they're still going to get recognized. But my guess is they're probably getting dirty looks, yelled at, whatever it is, mm -hmm. or they're not getting the like, hey, they're getting the eyes of, I recognize you, but I'm not, you You're know? The person we And hate. so I think they can't, they want to go back to the way it was. They want to go back to the way it was so bad or nothing, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. So, in a way, I, I kind of understand that. But, again, it's like, you're done, dude. You're yeah. done. Like, it's way too soon, too. You're poking your head up now. You need to be, like, five years down the road <laughs> of, like, <Yeah>. hey. <laughs> Let the people, like, age out that are, like, really into pop culture, right? Let them age out. Let mm -hmm. the new ones come in yep. and be, like, who was she? Oh, she was trying to be... But did she though? I don't know. And then you'll be fine. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Robert Downey Jr., for example. Or something like this, where it's like Well, he went to prison. So like that's I mean, that's a great way to stay off social media is if you're in prison. Bro, <laughs> that's actually true, right? If it's something that you nope. can actually go to jail for McAfee was serve wrong time, the entire I think time. you can get out of it. Yep. But if it's something that's just moral jail and stuff like that, you can never do your time. Unless you do your fucking time, like get, go away, go away, yeah. do time somewhere. It's going to be in a mansion in the country, but do it yep. five, 10 years, give yourself a sentence and be like, I did my time. Uh, dude, what you just, in, you just either invented or predicted something that makes me want to take me and my pregnant wife and drive off a fucking cliff so I don't have to live in this world anymore. <laughs> right. Which what? is, which is people, <laughs> someone is going down. to do that. They're going to give themselves community service ooh, ooh, yeah. for like, ooh, and they'll be like, I'll be, I'm going to be working with, uh, yep. for, you know, whatever, Doctors Without Borders or this food kitchen for five years because of what I did. And then pe other people are going to follow. And then it's become a thing where it's going to be like, this cocksucker is not working in a food kitchen after he made that tweet. Yeah. Yep. Fuck yep. him. Yep. <laughs> or think about this, Bob, because then there are, they're still on social media telling you all the good they're doing so how do you have to do it you have to do it like that guy from that was working at trader joe's and somebody like snapped a pic under him and was like oh, oh my gosh she's working whatever show, so yeah. it has to be like you yeah. do a bunch of community service and make sure there's somebody taking a picture because you can't post you're in jail you're in instagram jail so but you need to make sure that someone else is going to recognize you doing 
Every time you see a camera, just grab an old lady, grab her bags, right? Carrier, yeah, yeah. something like that, where <laughs> everything is you doing great shit. charity, yeah. great shit, mm -hmm. and then maybe, but it has to be years of that, and nobody can catch you doing your same shit. <laughs> the, the only other way out of it, there's only two ways out of it. It's going deeper or, or doing that, and really what you need to just do instead is like, but your next, next post just needs to be you watching vile, legal, but vile pornography and like smoking crack. Just so everyone will be like, oh, well, oh they're, we irre did it. they're irredeemable. There we they're did irredeemable. It. There's no, nothing. we'll be like, we ruined them. Yeah. yeah. They're at the lowest. The now lowest. we can feel better about ourselves, right? Congratulations. Ooh, or, 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 easy one. Shut the fuck up and don't say anything, yeah. right? So even, even Hillary. Even Hillary, as crazy as that was, it was dominating the cycle because it was pandemic and everything. Mm -hmm. Even her, if she did not address it, if she did not get on social media, yeah. if she did not say shit about it, she'd be good now. Yeah, yeah. She'd be fine. Yeah. Same with Chrissy Teigen, but they cannot fucking help themselves. No, no. Anyways. Uh, well, now we, that's we a, can We can help ourselves. Yeah, that's we, a great we way gotta to end go. this show. Yeah, sorry. iTunes. Rate the show a five star, leave a quick review. I know a lot of people are having problems with iTunes, uh, softcore history included, um, with the downloads and all that shit. Uh, we all are. Um, they're, they're trying to switch to the Spotify originals model and all that shit. It's gonna fuck everybody for a long time. Uh, I, if Spotify backs up the truck, I'm all in at this point. I'm tired of dealing with iTunes. But in the meantime, if you want to see all these shows on time and all this shit while they go through their fucking bullshit changes for the new phone and the new fucking thing, rate the show five star and leave a quick review. It's the only thing that'll help. Okay. Okay. Jesse taught you a lot today, so we're gonna we're gonna leave with her. Okay. I'm Ross Patterson, and that is Jesse Wiseman. And I am Jesse Wiseman. Good afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>